I'm going to show you how to set up ChatGPT chatbot in your WordPress website. Chatbot is a great way to engage with your customer in real time, and with the power of the AI, it can help us handle most of the questions in real time, right? So, the first thing that we need to do right now is to head over to ChatGPT official website and create an account, right? So, let's go. So, basically, we are new. You can click on Get Started to take you to a sign up page in which you can create your account. You can set up your account, you can create via normal email or you can use your Google account or Microsoft account. Okay, so I have an account already. So let's have go and I'll, I'll log in and get my API. All right, so once you get your account ready, the next thing right now is to go back to our WordPress website. Okay, now this is the website that I want to set up the chatbot so that chatbot can automatically help us handle most of the question that customer want to know about the products that we are selling over here. All right, so let me log into if you log, let me log into my admin account. Come over here, log into my dashboard. All right. So once I log into my dashboard, all I have to do is to go over to the plugin section. I'll click on add new. Right, so once I click on add new, I'll come over to this plugin and a chat type on chat but if you type on chat chat GPT. Okay, so many plugins will pop up. Basically, I'm going to do a lot of video explaining how all this plugin works. But the one that I've tested very well, and I want to show you in this video, is this very one ChatGPT AI Power Complete AI Pack. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on install right now. And it doesn't take time, it's going to install the plugin and we just connect the API. So activate the plugin. Okay, uh, once it's logged in, it asks to prompt, uh, it asks to accept um, update notification i can accept it doesn't matter how was that <laughs> it happens like that sometimes i'll just go ahead and reload the page i can click on continue you know? so let me skip it all right you don't have time so next thing that you want to do right now is to connect your api okay so how do you do that come over to this uh, chatbot ai engine this way you can choose the different models that you want to work with okay so basically in this video this is the most stable version right now this gpt 3.5 the true version it's very very fast so i just choose this one basically you can try you can try other ones but we'll do other videos we'll try other ones this is gpt4 as well still in beta version but let's try this 3.5 so the next thing for us to do right now is to go get your api and start with basically if you click here get your api it's going to open uh, a chat GPT, the main screen that you can get your API. Remember, I said you need to set up your account first, all right? So you have done already, if you have set up your account, you should see the screen exactly like this. If you haven't set up your account and login, it's going to prompt you to create an account when you log into your account, all right? So let's say we have account set up. I have some API already. I don't want to use this. So now let me show you how to create a fresh new one from scratch. Go ahead and click on create new api secret key then click on this copy button like this now head back to your wordpress admin a dashboard and i just want to paste this api like this and click on save so once i click on save i've connected my api right now so the next thing that i want to do is to go ahead and tell this um, api what exactly i want it to do for me basically it can help you do many things can help you create content, do SEO, write your products, generate image, and a whole lot of things. But, but basically, in this video, I just want to show you how to set up a chatbot, right? Other videos will cover up all these things. So, you want to see how I do a video, a step by step walkthrough of how we can use this AI to do all these things. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon if you don't want to miss this video coming up. I'm dropping it back to back, right? So, let's go back to ChatGBT. If I open ChatGPT, I can interact with ChatGPT right now. And if I send a message over here, if my API is working very fine, everything should respond very well. Just like if you're interacting with ChatGPT on the ChatGPT official website. So to add a chatbot, you can go over to this widget like this. This is where we can, this is basically the pre-built widget that they have done for us. All you have to do is just enable the widget and just give it a, how do you want this uh, chatbot to respond to your customers? 
is it a friendly way you know do you want to ask like accountants architects blogger all these things so just choose how you want to try but to respond okay so basically me i want you to respond like uh uh okay i want you to respond like a web designer okay so what is web designer over here so I, I wanted to speak like a kind of uh, a tone, a kind of a flow, a language of how designers speak, right? So I just drop it as web designer over there like that. And style, I can go ahead and pick my style. Which color do you want? Go ahead and pick my color. The website is black, basically. So I think, uh, let me give it a green. Just a test. I don't really like green. So let's say, let's be like a blue color. So basically you can go ahead and style it you can go ahead and choose your avatar anyhow you want it you can upload a custom icon so that just it i don't want to really go much details on this i'll go ahead and just save this like this all right so if i go back to the website right now let me go back to the website uh front end face it the front end then boom you see in the bottom of right here the chatbot is live you can now customer can start to interact with the chatbot. Remember, we can customize all this right up, you know. But it's not going to be in this video. Dropping more video on this. So if you like this video, smash that like button and share it with a friend as well. So chatbot is live right now. Now, if you go back to this uh, website, you can also create like a custom chatbot from scratch. Remember, this is the widget, the one that they've already done for us. So if I come over to chatbots, I can create a new one from scratch. I can just give it and give it a name how do i want to display this chatbot if i choose widget is that it's going to um, automatically display by itself just like the one that we have already but if i choose a short code after creating i can just copy this short code and paste on any screen any page that i want this bot like if i want it to appear in just my product page i can just write that so basically in this one I so said, let me create this one. Okay, let me create a shortcut version for this. I just choose a shortcut and I will click on next and I'll choose how I want to act like. Okay, so I want to act like an engineer. Okay, so I'll click on next. I'll just choose my style and I'll click on next. Choose the, the version that I want to use. I will stick to the 3.5 tomorrow. Then I'll click on next again. Choose the color and just click on next, right? so i can style it right now see i have the ability to like style everything over right here how you want it you put a powered bike you put your brand name that kind of stuff like that and click on next um all this stuff all right so okay let me finish up and i'll just save it the okay right now this right section if you want to give it like some limits all right so basically if i want only people that log in into my site to get access to this chatbot I can just click over here like this if i want to set like a rule base okay if i want to set like a rule base can go ahead and say if you are ordinary customer you don't buy you haven't buy anything from us you have a, a token limitation like you can send us some amount of message after that actually to log in that kind of stuff like that i don't want to go deep for this so that's basically how everything is done i just want to click on save right now it's going to give me the a short code look at the short code right here so basically just for me to copy the short code like this and i can head back to pages and add new pages you know if i create new page like this and i just have to paste that short code okay um let's just open so test ai I just have to paste the short code like this and click on publish. Once I click on publish, if I view the page, the chatbot is going to appear as well. So that's basically how everything is. I look at it here, it appear as well as a short code. So this is how the short code actually works. This is how the widget version actually works. So go ahead and set up your own chatbot right now and let me know how everything works for you. If you have any problem, let me know in the comment section. Write me in the comment section. I'm going to respond to all the comment all right so that's it for me today i'll see you tomorrow bye